Hello everyone, I am Jinsi Gevogis, Department of Physics, MES College, Marble. Hello students, today we are going to discuss about oscillation. First we can define what is periodic motion. Any motion which repeats itself after regular interval of time, it is periodic motion. Example, rotation of the earth around the sun, motion of a pendulum, vertical oscillation of a loaded spring, oscillation of a magnet suspended in a magnetic field. Now we can define what is oscillatory motion. That is a motion in which a body moves to and fro repeatedly about a fixed point. It is oscillatory motion and it repeats its motion after regular interval of time. So from the definition, it is clear that all oscillatory motion are periodic, but all periodic motion are not oscillatory. That is oscillatory motion is precisely periodic motion plus 2 and 4 motion about a fixed point. We can discuss this example that is simple pendulum and uh, the dotted lines shows the 2 and 4 motion of the bob. This is the equilibrium position, this is the positive maximum and this is the negative maximum. So displacement at the extreme point, it is taken as A. So negative extreme, it is minus A and at positive extreme, it is plus A and at equilibrium, it is 0. Now acceleration. At the extreme points, acceleration is maximum and at equilibrium, it is 0. Now speed, it is 0 at the extreme point and maximum at the equilibrium point. Now kinetic energy, it is again 0 at the extreme point and uh, uh, maximum at the equilibrium point. Whereas potential energy, it is maximum at the extreme point and minimum at the equilibrium point. And oscillatory motion can be mathematically represented as sine or cosine function. We know that sine and cosine function has a period of 2 pi. So it can be expressed as sine theta plus 2 and pi is equal to sine theta. Now we can define what is simple harmonic motion. An expression containing sine or cosine function, it is harmonic function. And an oscillation which can be expressed in terms of harmonic function, it is symbol harmonic motion. Two types, linear symbol harmonic and angular symbol harmonic. So we can define what is linear symbol harmonic motion. It is defined as a linear periodic motion of a body in which the restoring force is always directed towards the equilibrium position or mean position. And its magnitude, it is directly proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position. So look at the figure. The first figure, it is in equilibrium state. That is a mass M attached to a spring of negligible mass. Now the mass is displaced through a distance X. And the restoring force, it is acting towards the equilibrium position. So we can define F is, is proportional to minus X. So mathematically how can we express simple harmonic motion? That is F is proportional to minus X. So in the differential form we can write it as M into D square X by D D square is proportional to minus X. Changing the proportionality constant we get M into D square X by D T square equal to minus kx. Now taking m to the right hand side, the equation will become d square x by d t square equal to minus k by m x. We are putting k by m as omega square. So equation become d square x by d t square equal to minus omega square x. Rearranging the equation, we get d square x by d t square plus omega square x equal to 0. This is called the differential equation of motion of a linear symbol harmonic oscillator. I think it is clear. Now we are going to 
define the expression for displacement. So we have the equation d square x by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0. To solve this differential equation, we are multiplying the equation by a factor 2 into dx by dt. So now our equation becomes 2 into dx by dt into d square x by dt square plus 2 into omega square x dx by dt equal to 0. And this equation, it can be written as d by dt of dx by dt the whole square plus omega square x square equal to 0. That is, we know that the derivative of dx by dt the whole square is equal to 2 into dx by dt into d square x by dt square and uh, uh, differential form of omega square x square is equal to 2 into omega square x into dx by dt equal to 0. So, this equation can be written in this form that is taking d by dt outside. Now, integrating d by dt of this equation we get d square x by dt square the whole into whole square plus omega square x square plus c equal to 0 or equal to c. Where c is the constant of integration when the displacement is maximum. That is, we are considering it as a, x is equal to a. So, when x is a constant value a, we get dx by dt is equal to 0. That is, velocity will become 0. Now, we are substituting this condition in this equation to find the value of c. So, we get c is equal to, here, d by, dx by dt is equal to 0 and here, x takes the value a. So, equation becomes 0 plus omega square a square equal to c. That is, omega square a square equal to c. Now, we are put, putting this value in this equation. So, we get dx by dt the whole square plus omega square x square equal to omega square a square. Rearranging dx by dt the whole square equal to omega square into a square minus x square. So, we get dx by dt equal to plus or minus omega into square root of a square minus x square. What is dx by dt? It is the velocity of the particle. So, this gives the velocity of the particle uh, which is uh, of a linear simple harmonic oscillator. Now, we get uh, dx by dt equal to plus or minus omega square root of a square minus x square. We are taking the positive value that is dx by dt equal to plus omega into square root of a square minus x square. Rearranging, we get dx by square root of a square minus x square equal to omega into dt. Integrating once again, we get sine inverse x by a equal to omega t plus psi, where psi is the constant of integration. So, we get x by a equal to sin omega t plus phi. So, we can express x as a into sin omega t plus phi. So, we define the displacement x as a sin omega t plus phi. Now, we have another value minus omega into square root of a square minus x square. So, rearranging this equation, we get cos inverse x by a equal to omega t plus delta. So, x is equal to a cos omega t plus delta. So, we get two values for x that is a sin omega t plus phi and a cos omega t plus delta. Here, x is the displacement and a is the uh, maximum value of displacement. And we can take the maximum value of displacement, that is A, as amplitude. And this omega t plus phi is the phase of the motion. So, equation, uh, that equation gives the solution of the differential equation. 
which gives the displacement of the particle at any instant. And that is, x is the displacement of the particle, a is the amplitude of the particle, and omega t plus phi is called the phase of vibration at any time t. When t is equal to 0, the phase becomes phi. This is called initial phase. In the second equation, initial phase is delta. It shows that depending upon the initial position, we get different solution. And uh, for angular simple harmonic motion, the solutions are given by theta is equal to theta 0 uh, sin omega t plus phi and uh, or it is uh, theta 0 into cos omega t plus delta. Thank you.